everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. So here's a question. Uh, there was a post recently about Hololive Talent who was feeling down. She had another talent reach out to her, making her sure she was okay. That happens a lot in Hololive. A lot, from what I've been able to see at least. It was very touching, and even outside of work, the streamers were still looking out for each other. Because they see themselves as a group. A group of friends, uh, 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 you know, not competitors. Unfortunately, Niji Sanji seems to push the competitor part, but they don't. I don't follow Niji at all, so I'm curious if this happens as much as Niji. Raziel Doc mentioned when some members were not being nice, they brought it up to Luca and Alira to resolve the issues. So they tried, at least, to have something like that. They were also asked after the livers being harassed were ignored by their own managers. So management did ignore them and they were there to try to get uh, something going. Um, Raziel insisted they bring it up to management with evidence saying their jobs weren't to manage issues within the branch. Both ended up being ignored by management anyways. And Raziel thinks nothing was ever done about the harassment. So management isn't good. But I would assume, at the very least in the JP side, there seem to be people uh, helping each other. Not sure about the EN side, to be honest with you. Not really sure about the EN side. It says, uh, I don't know about others, but even though our members of Noctix mentioned fighting for Yugo, Usan around the same time after graduation, Shoto was the first to reach out to them after a rough time. Granted, this is after they went to Niji, but to me, this is telling that if they can't do bare minimum of reaching out after leaving the company, they probably won't support each other much while being in the company. It's pretty competitive, so I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't have each other's back. So, yeah, it's still pretty competitive. Uh, humans being social, humans being, well, humans, I would assume that they would have, or at least try to have, each other's back in one way or another. It's hard to tell if it would happen. It's hard to tell if, you know, they actually would have each other's back. But you would hope that at the very least they would be a little bit human about it and, you know, going for there and actually trying to help each other out. This is a reminder of a time that hasn't been so good for Nidhi Sanji in Nidhi Sanji Yen and the way that they've been treating their people. It's a reminder that two talents almost did, you know, the unthinkable of taking their lives uh, and caused two other talents to have severe financial tax issues with their local governments. The two other talents that had two talents that decided to harm themselves were, or, or were thinking of harming themselves were Zion and Selene. The two talents that had tax issues were, um, Mika Melatika and uh, Mr. Rias, those two, they had tax issues. Reminder that Annie Cutter is a hostile work environment that perpetrates, uh, perpetrates and allows to fester and it caused two talents to almost take their, you know, themselves. Who it was doesn't matter. What does matter is that it happened and Annie Cutter has tried to shrink away from all responsibilities from their actions and lack of actions surrounding the situations. And a reminder that instead of working on these issues, they blame the consumer base in their financial report. They said it was the consumers leaving. It was the pot, you know, they weren't having the popularity, etc., etc. That's why things were going bad, according to them. And declare that they are not expecting any more growth from EN. So basically, like I mentioned before, they're saying that pretty much they're going to be abandoning EN from what it looks like. Not the result that I wanted to see from this boycott, but it's a result I was okay with in the possibility of it happening. Don't harass anyone. Don't ask anyone to quit. Treat speculation with a heavy grain of salt. Absolutely. That's what I try to do. I not terminated our person yet. They didn't terminate Uki yet. This is day 110. Yeah, it, but yeah, it's, I think it's day 110 or day whatever, but it has been a while since all of this started. And yeah, this person always wants to remind, which is it's an, it's an important reminder for everybody. This one is more of a cautionary tale. This is talking about Kurosanji themselves, our Kurosanji themselves, the, the, the subreddit that I use a lot in here just to see the opinions of people on the internet. And it says, F Nidhi Sanji to hell with their company. Just keep it at that, the company. But to be honest, the attacks on the livers in this sub are getting borderline disgusting. Yeah, you don't attack at livers of this, uh, it, uh, period. Stop using X livers as your personal vendetta flag. Honestly, if you want to have a vendetta, do it on your own terms. Stop using the name of X livers just to justify your filled rants. I mean, people use it because it is examples. You know, examples that like actual pertinent examples, actual examples that you can use. Uh, Doki Bird was fired, therefore I wanted to take a chance to humiliate, downplay, and essentially cyberbully the livers into quitting. That's never good. You can use them as an example of the bad things that have happened. You can say, you know, it sucks that they that they were fired. Look at all these horrible things that Nidhi Sanji has done. Be better, Nidhi Sanji. That's what I try to do. Don't go and use this to harass Elira. Don't use this to harass Vox. Don't use this to harass Fanana or anyone else that you see that you feel has done something against the liver that you uh, enjoy, the liver that you want to you know, have a better time. 
whatever it is, do not use them as your scapegoats. Do not use them as someone to just attack someone else. I'm not doing it. Other people in the community are doing it. Uh, wage your own darn war, too. I, I get it that it's a dopamine rush to get upvoted, but don't just post things to be evil and then get upvoted that way. It's very true. I'm not having enough viewers, not having enough dancing skills, not having enough things like that. I just do it to point out what's happening. I always, you know, say, you know, it sucks. A lot of times, like, you'll hear me say it myself. It sucks that they're not getting a lot of viewers. They're part of a bad company. That's why it's happening. But I feel bad for them as a liver, as a, a VTuber myself, as a content creator myself. I do a lot of times feel bad for them. I even say it myself in my own videos because I want you to see the human side of it. Yes, they're VTubers. Yes, they are VTubers who are a part of a bad company, but they are humans behind that skin suit, behind that suit that they have. They are humans. And it's like, they just continue saying, you know, uh, don't, not saying to not call out talents, but don't make it like a harassment type of thing. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's like, you want to keep the community small. They want to feel safe in their community. Let them feel safe. Let them feel um, comforted with the people that like them. Just don't go to them if you don't like them at all. You know, just don't do that. The basic thing here, don't post the downfall of every liver. Do not give in to the rats. Do not just blatantly ask liver when they're leaving Kurosanji. That is just rude. That is rude. That is harassment in, a, in its own way. Don't do that. Don't ask them when they're going to leave. Don't try to push them to leave. Prozatine livers isn't your revenge take. Yes, don't just make that. Like, I put it out because it's news. But I'm not like, ha, 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 look at what's happening there. Ha, 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 no. I'm like, look, this is what's happening. Um, This is my take on it. Sometimes I feel it may be deserved. But never, ever, ever am I going to push to actually try to harm the, the talents or try to harass them. Always it's more like, look at this. This is what's happening as a consequence of this other stuff that they did. You know, but still, I'm like, it sucks that this is happening still. It sucks, like, for example, Kotoka that, you know, a lot of people don't like. I'm saying it sucks that she has any kind of mental uh, health issues right now. And same thing with Alira, when she has her own si si serious issues, I always said, told people, this sucks. Do not go after her. Do not uh, try to post. That's why I didn't like that video that was made because it was right after the Alira posting about her mental health state status. And I did not think that that was in good taste after her mentioning that she has mental health issues right now. I did not feel that it was in good taste. That's why I say those things. All right, everybody. Here we go with uh, Mika and Echo. Yes, it's Mika and Echo. I haven't followed her recently, but I remember some drama. There was some drama about her interacting with Wachter's new brand. Basically, 910 Inc., I believe. That was that was something that popped up. I do remember. There was something that popped up. Now, I get this ad of her speaking in Spanish. The worst part, she seems to be reading the basic Wachter script that years ago, all her Japanese VTubers used to attract Spanish-speaking fans. Oh, no. Wachter flashbacks. Let's take a look and see what it actually was because of course i always like seeing what's going on we're gonna look for mika neko on youtube and figure it out it took a little bit but let's go in and see this here right now she's playing minecraft which is good but um there was an ad specifically let's see if it was part of a video that she has or something in regards to a live that she did she doesn't have that live so this is strange maybe it was a short that she did because i mean looking at everything here there was nothing that uh looks like this specifically one day ago 39k uh watches uh was it wasn't this one maybe it was this one maybe it was this one this is there was nothing there was nothing on her channel uh specifically that i could find like straight out so i looked it up on youtube and i found specifically what it is it's a 53 second short it seems like it seems like it was put a day ago yes 30 39k views and yeah she's speaking in spanish and let's hear what she has to say ¿Cómo está mis amigos? ¿Están bien? Muy bien. Sounds French. Mucho gusto, yo soy Mickey Neko. Yo soy muy tierno. Digo que soy lindo. ¿Cierto que sí? She's definitely reading from a script. Sí. Escribite mi canal. But that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Now, 
with this happening here, of course, it's not necessarily meaning that she's part of Wachter or whatever. It means she's trying to reach a new audience. It's, it's you know, it's crazy. It's a crazy rumor to think she's 910 if she's not saying it herself. Uh, there, was, there was someone that sounded very, very alike, but it, they have said themselves that it is a, you know, different person. I am going to take them for their word in saying it's a different person. Uh, this could be any VTuber trying to reach out to a different audience and maybe doing some Spanish on occasion and that type of stuff, you know, going on. So I'm not going to, you know, immediately say, oh my goodness, she's now joining 910 Inc. She's whacked her. She's this or that. So I'm just giving you the information that I have. And I, hopefully it is enough for you to make your own decisions on this. This is a post regarding another post. That was seen as maybe it's it's from a manga. It's Ore Dake to Shume Gachisei, Gachisei. Uh, and it has something here. It's uh, Suga, it's basically Tsuyo Suki to game balance for Hakashita. Hakashita. It's a freaking long name. Holy crap. It's an effing shitty agency. They take about 90% of the super chat donations, but considers the contracts as outsourcing. There aren't any employee benefits or social security. Their standard pay is minuscule. And yet they'll have all the rights to what we put out on our channel. During the contract, we can't stream on our own channel. Even after the contract, we won't have any rights to our past contents made under the company. During the contract, we can't stream on our own channel, like basically under the company, and we won't be able to join another company for three years. That is really, really holy moly. That really does seem like a Nidhi Sanji hit, doesn't it? I actually read the webtoon, so I think it's supposed here, but decided not to. Then saw this post. In my opinion, this is probably how most agencies work in Japan. In anything, really. Probably most of them. Vispo and others, probably. Or at least used to. That's maybe the reasons why author use it as a plot theme. Just Niji got exposed when the foreign talent got this treatment. They felt unjust. Thus the sarcasm or a meme uh, thought his talent ever said about the cuts coming out. There's actually another nice fact about the Mandrata's webtoon. Where MC, the main character, met his colleague after regression. That he tried to avoid her. Because how toxic the relationship was in the future. He really despised her. All of his trauma came out actually when he realized it was the same person. But MC decided to give a chance of he called trial to work together with her again. And slowly, MC started to realize that she actually is a good person. So yeah, I mean, things can happen. You can have that. It's just the work environment is so toxic. And it changes people. It really does. Uh, just like his colleague, especially the competitiveness of the company. The webtoon actually is good so far. They start, uh, might look pretty cliche and generic, but it gets better, especially the main plot focus. So it, things get better, but this is a nice little intro meme to the whole situation. The world is healing, or at least it seems to be, with uh, its We Are So Back moments for Kurosanji and Hololive ID Bros, the ES, ETS2, which Euro Truck Simulator, to collab with Michi. They had one with uh, Ayanda Risu, which is Hololive ID, and Michi Mochi V, as you can see right here, has her, her chibi model with a Euro Truck Simulator thing there. Can't help but wonder if a zombie uh, can be isekai'd. After all, Risu Truck Coon is almost legendary. She just straight up yeeted poor guy's car into another dimension just now. It's all here. Those will be 332 repeats of Oh God Run, followed by finally Oh God Run. Ah! Squish. I counted that right. So yeah, they're, they're, they're both... Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, Risu has just flipped her... Oh God. Of course. Of course, Risu is going to be flipping her freaking uh, <laughs> truck. Problem is it ended up catching on some ID VTuber community grieve over this, like the damn Niji Sisters. <clears throat> Despite them previously celebrating Michi's debut, Mochi in her little truck with her little hat is adorable. It absolutely is. They finally reunited. The world is healing. Things are going well. Things are going to happen. And of course, we're going to take a look just a little bit at the Euro Truck Simulator 2 thingy. Let's take a look here. I have is like a child's card. <laughs> oh, no. I saw. I saw. What was that? What was that? Yeah, they're, they're playing multiplayer. Damage twenty one percent. This car ran into me. <laughs> <laughs> no one in Dover can fucking drive. <laughs> oh god, there we go. So yeah, it looks like they had a lot of fun. That's what I like. I like seeing that. I like seeing that they had a lot of fun. And the memes keep coming, and they don't stop coming. Of course, they never do. They never do. So this is a song idea for Doki's one million sub celebration. It just fits well. Im imagine Broadway style with a bunch of VTubers dancing corpos and indies together. It's Michael Bublé, a uh, beautiful day. I'm not going to play it because, of course, it is um, copywritten. We can look at the video at least a little bit. Singing about how the day is great. And, okay, of course, a, a, uh, <laughs> a very, very attractive women. A very attractive women, of course. They're all around him for some reason, of course. Of course, they're just, they're just everywhere around him. All the beautiful women are all around him. But, yeah, there's that. And then there's also this one. Sorry, but it felt too similar to be overlooked. This one right here, an anime, uh, an anime evil, evil corpo dude. If you have played game, Blue Archive, Black Suit has more dignity and knows respect and boundaries between goals and desires. 
His methods are a bit cruel, but he knows when to stop. Uh, just the vibe. It gave the vibe. The vibe of Blue Archive. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.